Hi friends, it's me and L, and I have another great video for you today. So I got a lot of comments on the legendary core farming guide telling me it was great but not very useful for them anymore since they have all the rare blades. And it's funny to me because I've had all the rare blades for well over a year and I still find myself grinding some legendary cores. The reason for this is to get these overpowered common blades. Now many people sleep on common blades and just see them as stat modifiers and nothing else. However, common blades can serve another purpose as well. As fighters, many of them had the potential to outclass half the blades and maybe be even as good as B-tier blades on the tier list we made. But overall, they probably still aren't going to make your main fighting team given some of the really powerful skill trees and unique skills some of the best blades have. So what use do these common blades have? Well, there are a few attributes of them that I'd like to bring to your attention as well as two key skills that can be very important in maximizing your team efficiently. So let's talk about these skills. The first important skill is Ultimate Combo. Now this is a skill that Crossset and Nim actually have as rare blade abilities, so you might be wondering how this is useful on a common blade and what does it do. Well, as the description says, it increases, it increases fusion combo effects by 50%. Now I have an entire guide on fusion combos, so I won't go into that here, but basically every action involving a fusion combo will have its effect increased by 50% additive. The base fusion combo bonus for level 2 and 3 is 50%, so this will make the effect 100%. So basically, if you smash a level 1 damage over time effect, it'll double the damage of the damage over time. And if you use a special on top of a break, it'll double the damage you deal while the break is active. If you apply a break with this blade, it'll increase the time the blade combo remains active even further. This smashing can be very useful with the lance on Morag, but the main use of this is going to be to increase your chain attack damage. This lance here has a fast level 2, which I'll show you how useful that can be later. This is a useful ability because it gives you access to different elements besides Cross Set and Nim, as well as faster specials that can be useful in some areas. So the next important ability is Orb Master. Now there are so many challenge mode speed kill videos where I'll get comments wondering how I got orbs on an enemy without ever using a blade combo. Well, this is how. Orb Master is a common blade exclusive ability and possibly the best ability for chain attacks in the game. If you played Torna, do you remember how every special you use set up an orb? Well, this is basically exactly what that is. You can set up an orb just by using a special with no blade combo required. This can let you stack up orbs much quicker, which can help you kill things much faster. Whether you just need one quick orb or you want a full 8 orb burst. This effect applies to all blades in battle as long as the Orb Master Blade is active on the field too, which makes it incredibly useful. This particular blade is a female katana. The female katana has the fastest specials in the game, which can also be very useful for killing things as efficiently as possible. Now these two skills are moderately rare, with ultimate combo only being able to be found on attack class blades. If you're extremely lucky, you can actually get both on the same blade like I have with this female axe. This blade is actually rarer than Cosmos. So you might be able to get to see why grinding for legendary cores can still be very useful and getting some of these common blades can be nice. A blade like this with its fast level 1 has value in certain challenge mode missions for both of these effects. But enough of this explanation, let me show you them in action. So first let's look at the ultimate combo blade. Now I'm going to use a chain attack here without any kind of fusion combo here just to show you the baseline damage I have. So Elma's damage without any kind of fusion combo with this current damage setup just for a baseline testing is about 300,000 or so, 320,000. And Poppy Cutie Pies with no crits about 55,000. So in this next fight I am going to use my ultimate combo blade and use my level 2 special on a break and we're going to see how much the damage increases when I use the chain attack again. Now, like I said, this is going to the 50% fusion combo bonus added to the 50% you automatically get should give me a 200% damage increase here. Or basically my damage is going to double. And as you can see here, the level 2 special is actually really fast on this female lance so we can get to the chain attack really quickly right after the break. And that's going to give us plenty of time to do damage on top of the break. Now, Elma's damage here should be about 640,000 if I'm doing my math right. And that's about what it is. So that just goes to show you how useful a damage increase like that can be. So now I have another example really quickly where I'm going to use Tor's level 1 and then my level 2 on top of the same break. Now, Tor's base effect is going to be 50%, and the ultimate combo blades is going to be 100%. So if you do your math right, that's 150%. So now my damage should go up by one, like 2.5 the amount. So that's going to give me about 800,000 damage on Elma if I'm doing my math right again. Maybe 900,000. So Tor breaks here, I use his bolt, and then I'm going to use my level 2. And because of the fast special, I'm going to be able to get this off and use the chain attack in time with no issues. 
And that's something that could be very valuable to have. Because it's better than Nim and Cross Set specials as far as speed. So I almost be doing about 800, 900,000 here. And that's about what she's doing, yes. So that's just one of the useful effects that you can do with the ultimate combo. It's a really nice ability to have. It can make Summon Blades very valuable. So next we have Orb Master. So, like I said, I have my female Katana Blade here with the very fast special. So I'm just going to use that special as fast as I can. And I'm going to show you how it works. So I'm in the chain attack already with an orb at 8 seconds. That's pretty good. And against certain fights, you can kill enemies really fast because of that. I'm not exactly set up to do it here, but I do have the minimum HP Tyranna Titan just for the sake of example. But essentially, that Orb Master ability can be very effective against challenge mode enemies and really help you just destroy them really quickly and they don't give you any trouble at all just because you're able to kill them before they're able to use any dangerous attacks, mostly. So yeah, as you can see here, I was able to do a full two-round chain attack basically 40 seconds into the battle. And... I was already chain attacking at 8 seconds before he had time to use any moves. But the right kind of setup here, you can get like 2 specials off and then just destroy him before he has the chance to even use a twin barrel auto cannon because you'll have 2 orbs on him. Speaking of 2 orbs, I actually show that off right here. So using Tora's level 1 and my Katana's level 2 or 3, I'm able to set up 2 orbs now and I'm going to show that off. Without any kind of full blade combo required, I'm just using level 1 and a level 3. And a level 2 I mean. And that's just so incredibly valuable for just making common, like, the fights go a lot quicker. And the fact that only common blades have access to this ability make them intrinsically valuable on normal mode at the very least. So that's two specials, two really quick specials, and we've got two orbs already at about 27 seconds in. That's not too bad at all. This is probably the most useful thing that common blades can offer, and if you get rid of the hang of it and get good blades with it, they can be very useful to increase your times further and optimize your team. No longer do you have to do eight full blade combos to get a full burst if you're unoptimized if you have one of these. You can do it in three combos. So there's one more thing about common blades that I want to show you, and that's their potential as fighters. So I literally just pulled this common blade, as you can see, and I just placed him on Rex. And I'm going to try to solo Tyranna Titan with him. Just pulled. Just straight up just pulled. So I'm going to give him a good core chip, replace his aux cores, and make sure all my equipment is correct for this. And we're going to see if we can do it. I, I want to see the value of common blades and just how they can tackle the game and if you can actually do stuff in this game with them and as opposed to rare blade. Because I don't ever see anyone fighting with common blades. Everyone uses rare blades. But these things, they were made to fight and people always wonder they don't get rare blades, they get common blades and no one ever uses the common blades. But that doesn't mean they're useless at all. So this this guy is E-Rank Trust. I just put some basic equipment on himself, myself, and wreck him. And I'm going to try to solo the hardest super boss in the game on normal. And we're just going to see how that works out for me. I've got I got the basic crit heal set up here. i got the noise dampener and crimson headband to increase my damage some. And I've got additives for my um, aux core slots on him. So I'm just going to speed through the fight because it was a fairly long fight, but... I just want to show you that no matter what blades you get, you can probably do something with them in this game, like no matter what. So this is on normal mode, like I said. I do have three aux core slots, which most people are not going to have on regular normal mode. And I do have some more powerful accessories from challenge mode and aux cores. But even still, I have this really weak common blade I basically just pulled, who's E rank. And I'm essentially able to just defeat Tyranna Titan with it. I don't know if that's more of a testament to how easy this game can kind of be, but... It is pretty interesting regardless that I'm able to just abuse iframes and just everything that I'm given in the game. To basically solo this dude with one blade that I literally just pulled. Who is E rank trust, like I said. All I did was put a core chip on him, get some mock scores, and use some accessories I already had on Rex along with desserts. And I, th I think this is pretty interesting and in just showing that no matter how useless your common blades are, they can still be effective fighters too, because this dude has no useful battle skills, the specials aren't really useful. But even still, in about 20 minutes, I'm able to take this dude down. And this is the hardest super boss in the game. So that's just pretty interesting to me. Obviously, challenge mode enemies are way tougher than this dude, but for people playing on like normal playthroughs and stuff, this is still uh, pretty interesting to be able to do something like this. So common blades, they have combat potential. There's actually some common blades, like I said, you can pull that can be useful as fighters. They can be, like, 
even more powerful than like Zenobia even. Like I've gotten a, not me, but I know one of my friends has gotten a common blade with his three battle skills as affinity max attack, critical damage, and critical healing. So essentially you have a 100% additive, a 50% critical bonus, and then the ability to heal every time you get a critical, which means that you have to open up a slot for an accessory and you're doing like a solo challenge like this. And with that accessory slot, you can have even more powerful effects. And with that, you can actually get a common blade that's more powerful than, like, Zenobia. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to be, like, useful in, like, challenge missions or anything, but it's still interesting that you can have a care, uh, like a blade with more, like, raw DPS than, like, Zenobia. And it's a common blade pull, too. Now, obviously, this is another rare pull, obviously, that you're probably not going to get, but it's still something to think about as far as the use of common blades. But mostly, the main things you're going to want to look for are Ultimate Combo and Orb Master. They're not going to have much potential as far as being, like, super fast, but if you want to just style on bosses and use them for fun in challenge mode, you can use these blades. They, they have combat potential. Some of them can be really good, and a lot of blades can be better than just the regular blades that you might have. Like, the, better than rare blades, I mean. Like, some of the worst rare blades, like Finch and stuff, like... Probably any common katana is better than Finch. Like, this, this dude's way better than Finch, I can guarantee you. But overall, as you can see, I was on normal mode. E rank trust, I didn't do anything to modify this dude. That's just kind of how the game can be. So that about covers it. Just wanted to showcase some of the applications of common blades besides stat boosters to put stat boosting core chips on and stick on your drivers. Orb Master is very good and so is Ultimate Combo, and I hope you were able to see that. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content from the Xenoblade series, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube. I am doing an X playthrough that is hopefully entertaining and informative, and I'll be releasing a podcast later this week and that will hopefully start a series. Besides that, I'll be sure to continue guides and do some challenge mode and speedrun stuff as well. Please look forward to all of that. Your support is greatly appreciated. Be sure to follow me on Twitch to see the X playthrough live on Saturdays at 11 a.m. Central, and follow me on Twitter because I really want more Twitter followers, so follow me on Twitter. All those links will be in the description and pinned comment. With that being said, Hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something, and have a blessed day.